Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am finally doing my haul video. This is a fairy mail haul and some love at first sniff hauls for me. I originally wanted to have an unboxing and first impressions of all these perfumes but I received a call while I was filming so this is two weeks after that call, I think. So today is the 12th of February. It's Monday, two days before Lent. And I just wanted to share with you guys all the new perfumes that I added to my collection and all the perfumes that were gifted to me very kindly and sincerely by Stephanie. Again, shout out to Stephanie, my perfume fairy. Put some fairy emojis down in the comment section below. So I just want to show you guys the box. This is it. And before I begin, I'm going to show you a clip of the video that I filmed while opening the box. We got fairy mail. Here's what I got from the mail today. Mm -hmm. It's so heavy. It's fairy mail. Let's open this. I don't know what's inside. Maybe like... I don't know. Most of these are surprises. I, I don't, I'm not sure. Um, I know she sent me some samples as usual. And thank you so much, Stephanie, my perfume fairy, for sending me another care package. First care package, fairy package, fairy mail for the year 2024. Oh, Stephanie, you just sent me stuff. She even put all the prices and stuff. Mm -hmm. And ooh, show you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It's so exciting. I talk like that and I love it. Oh my gosh, it's Wow, I just came home and I have to go on call. <laughs> well, I guess this unboxing has to wait. See you after three hours. Now that was something. Before I begin, I just want to show you guys my scent of the day. This is Yes I Am a Bloom Up by Cacherelle. And I am almost out of my bottle. This is so good. Like a much fruitier version of the Yes I Am original. So let us start with the fragrances that were gifted. Amazing fragrances, you guys. When I opened the box, I was so shocked to see everything. Although I knew some of the fragrances that she would be giving me because she sent me an email, let me know what fragrances were in the box, but I didn't know all the fragrances that were inside. This is by Paris Monte Carlo, and this is Arancia de Cecilia. Arancia, I think that's orange, right? This is so good. And this is a citrusy, aromatic, bright fragrance. And this was a love at first sniff. I really like this. Um, in the dry down, it's more green and aromatic and almost herbal. It's so fresh. I can't wait to wear this during summertime. This is something though that I know I can wear during the cooler season, but it's more appropriate for spring and summer. It is so good and it's very refreshing, stays long on the skin as well and the dry down just so beautiful. This is Gorgeous Magnolia by Gucci Flora. I've always seen these bottles um, in stores but I think I've only tried the Jasmine one. I think it's a green bottle and I've never really bothered to test them. So this is Gorgeous Magnolia and it has essence, Magnolia Essence as a notes, Dewberries Accord and Patchouli Essence. I really get a lot of those blueberries scent. This was a love at first sniff as well. So good. I've been saying that I've been loving Magnolia and fragrances. I don't really know the exact scent of Magnolias, but I get it in the fragrances that are um, that have Magnolia in them. I went to the mall yesterday. I'm going to insert some clips. I tried the gorgeous um, Gardenia one. I think it's in the pink bottle. It smelled really beautiful. I almost bought it. I'm still going to try it during my next visit to the mall, but this is so beautiful gorgeous magnolia and i got a tote bag as well a green one 
I love this kind of green color and I think I mentioned in my was it my haul video or in my one of my vlogs that I love tote bags like these so I keep them in my you know bag and everywhere in my locker and let us go to some Kayali fragrances you guys I really thought that I would fall for the hype for the um, sandalwood fragrances, the wedding collection from Kayali. And it was during the time I think that I was really not in the best time of my life. And I was so busy. And I think during that time was um, the time when I kind of lost interest in perfumes. I was so tired physically and mentally and everything that I didn't really feel like getting the... Um, a wedding collection. I think this is a discontinued fragrance. It's a limited collection. So here's the box. I took it out of the box already. This is the Wedding Silk Santal 36. And the bottle is so beautiful. This, I love this. I'm gonna say I love this. It was a love at first sniff and I actually wore this scent. Even though it's not in my February tray, I wore this during the photo shoot for the Lista Houtit, the Arts and Music Festival, Reykjavik, this coming June. I'm gonna insert some um, pics. But oh, this is, to me, like a merge or like a combination of Musk 12 and Vanilla 28, the sweeter part of Vanilla 28. This is really really beautiful i love this scent it has champagne white freesia pink praline lush nectarine sandalwood sugared must so it has the notes that i love in other um kelly fragrances i love the nectarine and i think that's the one in deja vu white flower i mean i think in sweet diamond pink pepper the sugared musk in must 12 is must 12 discontinued i was planning to get that in one of my next purchases or when we go to um Get to visit some Sephora in our travels. I was planning to get that. The Wedding Silk Santal 36 is a win for me. This is so beautiful and I'll be treasuring this fragrance like forever. And then I was given a sample or like a travel size of the Eden Sparkling Lychee 39. I was planning to blind buy this actually because I was really confident that I would love it based on the notes, um, based on also how much I loved Eden Juicy Apple 01 that's in my wish list. This is how the bottle looks like. It's so cute. So this is just sweet all around. It has um, blackcurrant, lychee, rose damascena, violet, sugared amber, and sandalwood. Beautiful combo of notes. Beautiful scent. It kind of reminds me of like pink champagne um, candles or something. Sparkling lychee. 39 and then a clean reserved fragrance clean reserve it has no d clean reserve this is my very first fragrance from this um house this brand it's a huge bottle this is a scent that i don't really hear a lot of people talk about so this is how the bottle looks like this is from their avant garden collection nude santal and heliotrope so when i saw the notes the name i was like this is a scent that for sure I would love. I love heliotrope and fragrances. I love sandalwood. And this is, I don't know, like I'm not just loving these fragrances because they were gifted to me, but just amazing fragrances. They smell really nice. Look at that. The combo of heliotrope and sandalwood isn't really a very feminine kind of fragrance. This is something that I would consider as a unisex fragrance, but it's not really masculine leaning, but I don't mind smelling this in men, for example. You know, that's how the scent is. I love how the sandalwood is in here. The added powdery note, powdery floral note from Heliotrope. It's a creamy oriental scent. That's the family that it belongs to. And a big surprise. This is Crayon Caramel Days. I mentioned Crayon. I don't... Did I film a... Um, house collection or house review I'm not so sure but this is one of the fragrances that I fragrance houses fragrance brands that I just decided to buy a sample set from and I think I mentioned that in my um, samples collection video I really liked um, vanilla CEO it's in one of my wish lists but it's not currently in my present wish list but it's one of those scents that I really really liked from the house and this is one of their newest fragrances or newest additions but for some reason it's not 
listed in Fragrantica anymore. It was. But um, Stephanie gave me a sample set of the Crayon fragrances, including Caramel Days. I was planning to sample this actually um, when I got an email from the brand because I, subs I am subscribed to their newsletter. This is how the bottle looks like. And it has crayon written in there. This is a huge 100 ml bottle. I'm so surprised. This, by the way, this, by the way, was brand new. It had a plastic on it and I opened it. And also silk uh, Santal. I think these were her like backup bottles and she gave it to me. Oh my God, Stephanie, I can't, I can't even. Caramel Days. Creamy, woody caramel. I don't know if it has some woody notes. I'm going to put the notes on screen for these fragrances, but... Very sweet, creamy, caramel, vanilla, so gourmand. Now that I have this, I'm not really so sure if I still want to get, you know, the vanilla caramel fragrances that I have in my wish list. I mean, it, it's a wish list. It's not like a must get for me. But this that can satisfy my craving for Vanille Chanel or for Bianco Latte by Zero Molecule. It definitely has that kind of scent profile. Even though it's a sweet caramel forward fragrance, it's still very minimal and muted. So it has that kind of like Nordic Scandinavian feel. Caramel Days by Crayon. Love this one. Another brand new fragrance from her. Probably, Stephanie, was this a backup as well? <sighs> Chloe fragrance. This is the, you can't see it, it's so bright. This is the Vanilla Planifolia fragrance from Chloe and this is a huge bottle 100 ml of vanilla planifolia and I think this one has some spices and vanilla or something and this was an immediate love as well spices or some green florals or something musk vanilla love at first sniff I was torn between the two as my you know scent for the photo shoot but I went with this one I am so in love with this. This kind of reminds me a little bit of how um, Bosca Vanilla made me feel from Guerlain. That one has mimosa and vanilla and that was in my wish list. This is beautiful. Vanilla Planifolia by Chloe. For those who own this fragrance, let me know because I think I've heard some people talk about it or I'm not really so sure, but this is a beautiful floral, spicy, musky vanilla scent. This is Jacques Fop, Paris, Foth's Essentials. Just read it. I'm going to put the name on screen. So I don't know the notes, but this... Oh, does it have cannabis? Let me look at the notes. Let me look at... Why do I... Mm-hmm. Okay, my bad. It doesn't have any cannabis in it. According to Fragrantica, this is a fruity, powdery, musky rose scent. Maybe it's just the smell or the scent on the cap. But it has, for the notes, it has asmanthus, pink pepper, and bergamot, raspberry, may rose, heliotrope, suede, it could be the suede, musk, sandalwood, orris, and amber. Oh, yeah. Fruity Rose, Heliotrope. It could have been the Osmanthus and Bergamot like on the cap. Kind of smells metallic, almost like cannabis, but so, so weird. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very light scent, but I think this one is more of a spring and summer scent. Kind of reminds me of Arancia de Sicilia, but this is more floral, spicy. The only very citrus heavy fragrance I have is um, Jour d'Hermes from Hermes. I think it's the Absolute. I have the Absolute. No, I think I just have the original, or like the EDP one. And that's the most citrus heavy floral fragrance I have. But these two, beautiful additions. And then this is from the house Monolith. 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 And this is called Pan de Suquero. I mean, I saw Pan, I saw Suquero. I was like, sweet bread! This is how it looks. Like, I mean, these fragrances, this and this. Like, maybe I don't really need to get um, the very sweet fragrances, you know, that I talked about in my wish list Because these can really just give me the whole vibe. This is super sweet. Oh, this 
just really smells like literal sweet bread or being in a bakery but just like caramel days it's not overly gourmand like when i would say overly gourmand those are fragrances from example theodore scalotini's like lemon tart it really is a true gourmand scent this is still very this is very muted for some reason, my Filipino friends, this one smells like ensaimada. You know, imagine the butter, the margarine, the sugar, that soft, fluffy bread. It's ensaimada, you guys. Starlight Vanilla by Zara. And this is from their, like, oh, this is 22.99 euros. What? This is expensive. In this bottle from this collection, I love the Vibrant Leather for her 2021. This is our light vanilla. And I don't really know the notes. Maybe I'm just going to have to look it up. But I remember this was too woody, leathery, woody. It has vanilla, lavender, almond, and amber. Okay. What? Wow. Let's try it again. Well. No, I'm not so sure. I need to spray it. Um, oh, this is pan de suguero. Literally ensaimada. Okay, I'm going to spray it here because it's different spraying it on skin. Hmm. Am I not getting... Why did I feel like it had a lot of oud? Or maybe I'm just mixing up these two Zara fragrances, but it was actually really nice. Silk, maybe the whole texture, the feel of, you know, silk, smooth. I actually really like this. What? It has lavender and vanilla. I don't know what I was thinking, but this is, this is really good. And another, this was new as well. I opened it. This was new. This is the Sweet Illusion number four from the Into the Gourmand collection. Am I right? Yeah, this is a limited edition. This I immediately, immediately loved. This is how the bottle looks like. I don't know why it's blue because, you know, but, um, this is really good. It has, I don't know what the notes are, but it says here, it's a feminine and sophisticated fragrance that unveils all the glory of Madagascar vanilla. An ink accord. It has an ink accord. Hmm. Yes. Wow. This one is way sweeter now. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. This, I really fell with this when I first smelled it because of that sugary vanilla. And they added, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. loving it sweet illusion this is from the merchant of venice <laughs> this fairy mail you guys is no joke merchant of venice accordi di profumo vanilla madagascar so cute simple and yeah this is a different kind of vanilla it's it, the vanilla here, this whole scent profile kind of reminds me actually of how vanilla is in Ashani Ani. I've already worn this one once at home, even though it's not in my February tray. Yeah, it has this like spicy kind of vanilla scent. More like a fall winter vanilla, but I have a feeling because of that spice, I don't know if it's a spice or there is something that I feel like this can also be perfect for warm weather. I am so blessed. Thank you, Lord, for Stephanie being so kind. Now, let us go to the fragrances that I bought um, this month, my February fragrances. These were love at first knit fragrances. And I saw the newest Valentino Stravaganza. And where's the box? Here's the box. I mean, this color, this tote bag from Stephanie. I love this color. This is so cute. I actually had Born in Roma Intense as my Valentino wishlist fragrance for this year, but I just had to get this because when I saw the bottle, I had to test it, and it just smells beautiful. For some reason, I feel like it has some pear or green apple, maybe because of the color it's giving me that suggestion, but this one has tea and vanilla and some tonka, I think, and very, very close in terms of, you know, um, notes from the with the original it's more vanilla and um tea really love it it's so cute valentino stravaganza is this in the born in roma yeah born in roma green stravaganza i went to the mall yesterday like i mentioned and 
I just got this fragrance. This is the Boss The Scent Elixir. It comes in this box. I bought these um, full price, by the way, not tax-free. <gasps> I was just drawn to this bottle, I guess, because I'm still in love with Black Opium Over Red. It, ha it, it has that similar red bottle. Okay, I'm going to flip the camera so you can see. So it's this beautiful red color. I mean, I just had to get it. I didn't really hear a lot of people. I didn't see this on Instagram or anything. Well, I'm not really on Instagram that much anymore or on TikTok. But um, I haven't really heard anyone talk about this new release. Maybe I have, but I just forgot. I wasn't really paying attention. But when I saw this, I had to sample it and I fell in love with it. It was love at first sniff. I didn't know any of the notes. But just like um, Stravaganza, when I thought that this one had apple or, or pear, I thought this one had cherries because of the color maybe, but also of the scent profile. I really thought that this one had cherries, um, but it doesn't. Um, I think this one has, if I remember, it has a very strong ambergris. And it was so weird because I don't really like ambergris in fragrances. Or like when it's very prominent in fragrances, I tend to dislike the scent. And this kind of, actually kind of gave me a headache yesterday. But I'm not sure if it was this one or all the perfumes that I smelled yesterday and the sun was so bright as well so it was a mixture of everything so the boss the scent elixir is an amber floral animalic soft spicy scent it has pink pepper belladonna and ambergris i don't even know how belladonna smells like but i guess that's one of the reasons why i really fell in love with this it's like a very like i don't know mysterious kind of a scent but I really thought that this one had some cherries or some sort of berries in there, but it doesn't have any of those. This is more of a fall-winter scent, I would say. But because of ambergris, I'm willing to try this um, during the warmer season when we have it. Pink pepper. Beautiful. I don't even know the notes. I just smelled it. And I wasn't so sure. I walked around, went to NYX, bought bag. I wasn't so sure because, again, it wasn't a tax-free, but, you know, I fell in love with it. And my son got his own perfume as well. He got the One Million by Pakuraba and the Elixir. Really sweet, beautiful scent. But this is the last fragrance, the Scent Elixir by Boss. My second Love at First Sniff um, purchase this month and my third this year. So I'm just starting the year right with some Love at First Sniff purchases. I am not really going for fragrances that um, a lot of people talk about or have heard reviews of. Um, I'm still waiting for the new Flower Bomb, Tiger Lily. I'm still waiting for the new La Via Belle. I'm really loving this new excitement for, you know, fragrances. Having that desire to really try fragrances and get fragrances and add fragrances to my collection, ones that I really, really love. And this video is dedicated to you, Stephanie. Thank you so much for all these gifts. I am forever thankful. I know I always say that in my videos. I always say that in my emails with you when we talk through emails. But, you know, really, I am very, very blessed to have you. Thank you so much for your generosity. There are fragrances that I mentioned here that you want more in-depth reviews of let me know if you want me to have like a five minute review of the new boss or the valentino new fragrance let me know or any of the fragrances that i mentioned let me know down in the comment section below that is it for today's video thank you for joining me for spending a big chunk of your day this is a longer video um i am forever grateful like i always say in every single video have fun much love stay safe and see you in my next videos